Chapter 4, Learning Objective 1. Explain the importance of and challenges related to basic financial statement disclosure. The key objective of financial statements is to fairly present the entity's economic resources or assets, its obligations or liabilities, and equity or share capital and retained earnings, as well as financial performance consisting of profit or net income. Thus, the focus of financial statement information is to meet the needs of the financial statement users, such as creditors, in terms of assessing a company's ability to repay debt, the investors who are looking for a return on investment, and to evaluate managers and assist in allocating resources effectively. The objectives of financial reporting in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles comes with some inherent challenges, which include how to measure wealth, how we apply recognition criteria, and how much information should be disclosed to the readers of the financial statements. When it comes to measurement of wealth, changes in wealth always results from transactions in context with the accounting principles of cost, recognition, going concern, timeliness, monetary unit, and business entity. If you're not sure what these are, you should refer back to Learning Objective 3 in Chapter 1. For financial accounting information to be useful, we must first understand the cost-benefit relationship, where the benefit of disclosing information must exceed the cost of gathering, processing, and disclosing. For example, the application of a materiality policy to avoid unnecessary administrative burden, such as time and effort required to depreciate a low-cost asset. What do we actually mean by that? Well, let's say that we purchase a laptop for one of our mobile sales representatives. We can purchase a decent computer for around $1,500 these days, and it should last the company three years. Now, technically, this expenditure should be classified as a computer asset and capitalized on the balance sheet rather than expensed because the laptop will help the salesperson generate revenues over the next three years. If we divide the cost of that asset over its 36 month useful life with no residual value, the monthly depreciation expense would be $42 per month. Well, if the company generates $100,000 in net income in a month, is $42 really going to make a difference in a decision of an investor to invest in our business or for a bank to loan us money? Likely not. So we would say that expensing the computer instead of capitalizing it would have an immaterial impact on our financial statements, and doing so would save the time and effort involved in capitalizing the asset and calculating, tracking, and recording depreciation expense. In addition, to be useful, information is to be comparable, verifiable, and presented with clarity and conciseness to be understandable. This means that the information we disclose has to be consistent with other accounting periods and even companies so we can meaningfully compare results, and that there must be a way for us to verify economic events and transactions and that we balance the volume and complexity of information that we disclose so that the information can be understood by a reasonably competent user.